Hey everyone, welcome back to Faraday Research and I'm just doing new testing on my Adams motor. So yeah, so I've been doing a lot of work on this and uh, I've been actually messing around with a lot of coils. So I got this coil at the store there last week. It's a 24 gauge wire and there's about a thousand feet of wire on this spool. Now, very interesting thing I found now it's a bigger coil now naturally it creates a bigger field right now i just got the a screw and i got a uh, actually a pair of wire cutters in there just to give it more induction i have to build a core for this so i'll be doing that probably tomorrow i'm going to be using uh welding rods and i'm going to stuff that in there put epoxy in there seal it up and i should have a good core now here's the interesting thing i found out my old uh, pulse motor uh, the coil is way smaller. It's only about 300 windings. Now, the best efficiency I could get out of it is about 12 volts at about 60 milliamps. Well, this thing now, because I got a lot bigger of a core, is creating a bigger field. Plus, my wheel, I got two wheels I'm driving, so I'm driving a lot more weight. But look at the amp draw. I got 12 volts at 20 milliamps. So, it's a 40 milliamp improvement on the load that it takes to run this. Now, this is the Adams motor configuration using a spark gap switch. I haven't got it hooked up to anything uh, right now. And uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, it, it's running really, really good. Yeah, it's running good, and it's uh, I got decent speed out of it. Obviously, I could probably get a little bit more output on it, but it's showing me that you know that you using a bigger core actually can be an advantage. And this goes back to uh, uh, Joseph Newman. His core was seven thousand pounds. He was using nine volt batteries. Only if I have a nine volt battery kick in here. But anyways, the nine volt battery he had 80 of them. So I was putting out 450 volts at only about 80 milliamps. And he was moving a 7,000 pound motor. So what this is showing me, a bigger mass of a core means that you might need more voltage, but when it comes to amp draw, it's a lot less. So yeah, very interesting results here. And yeah, so I'm just doing some testing rigging it up. I hooked up the circuit. You can see it in there. I got the other wheel there spinning and I got the read switch on the far side. I still have to deal with this yet uh, to generate more power. Now I made these tiny little cores up and when I'm running it, I could actually touch the back of this coil and I'll actually make this LED light light up. So I know I can get some induction off that. There's another avenue I can actually extract power from with not actually physically being attached to it. It's all doing it by wire to wire induction. So, you know, I got these cores on Amazon, you know, I got, I think that's six sets I got. So you just put these guys together like so, and then you can make your own transformer cores. So yeah, uh, I'll be messing around with these two and uh, trying to extract more power. Because the whole point of this new Adams motor is the fact that I got a second wheel to play with now. So I can generate power with the second wheel. I got mechanical power here. So, yeah, um, I'm going to be working on that. Um, I've even, uh, I actually, the other night, I set it up like the Zero Force motor. I actually had this core set sideways like this, and it was running it. So, you know, that, that method works too. But with the Adams motor now, it's only taken me 20 milliamps to run it. You know, that's pretty amazing considering I, what I can power with this. So my gains are getting bigger and the power input's actually decreasing due to the mass of the um, uh, wire. So you can see this is about 1,000, about 1,200, I would say, I took some off for another core that I was experimenting. That didn't really work out too good, but I figure I got about 1,200, yeah, about 1,200 uh, feet of this on here. So it's a pretty beefy core. It's heavy. 
um, 24 gauge. Um, I'll be making a core for it. I <laughs> just kind of shoved a screw in there in a, in a wrench um, or a pair of pliers. So, yeah, um, it's a work in progress. It's, you know, the design is kind of unique because I'm driving it with this one here. And this one, I'm going to extract nothing but power off this. So I'll be building some cores for these and doing experiments with that. So I got north, south, north, south on these wheels here. Now, you might have noticed in some of the videos that this thing has got a wobble to it. Well, Tesla talks about this, that his devices were uh, non-linear or asymmetric. So that, that might actually work to my advantage. So as you can see, I got ceramic bearings on this thing. And you can see, look how, look how nicely this thing spins. Like if I give it a good spin, like really like this, it'll spin for about two and a half minutes. Like it's extremely low friction. And that's a good thing. So that's something that uh, a lot of people overlook. You got to have a really free spinning wheel. So, yeah, um, that's that. Uh, yeah, uh, I guess that's it for the video. I uh, don't really have any other updates here. Um, I was even toying with making a core out of this. So I was kind of mapping it out. It's actually styrofoam underneath. I was thinking of making cores on either side of this and actually set that as the running core that runs the motor. I might test that out later. And as you can see, I got more material here. Um, I might even make a second motor. And I got another um, a wooden wheel there. So I've got pretty much enough material to actually make a second motor. I can do one one way and then do a second motor with some other ideas in mind. So I could have two motors going. Um, yeah, uh, that's about it really. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, bottom right hand corner. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. And uh, yeah, don't forget to donate below. All the descriptions are there, PayPal. Uh, I would stay away from Bitcoin right now because Bitcoin kind of really blows. And uh, yeah, so uh, don't forget to become a Patreon as always. Uh, thanks for all the people who have signed up. Anybody who has donated, thank you very much for your help. And uh, yeah, we'll see everybody soon.